otish.com learn anywhere anytime hello everyone namaste to you i would like to warmly welcome you in this uh, video lesson uh, i am here to discuss you a new topic the topic is maintaining professional ethics okay maintaining professional ethics teaching is a profession it is a paid job it is a job that requires excellence it is a job of the committed and dedicated individuals it is a goal oriented systematic goal oriented systematic and scholastic job and teachers are the professionals because they have certain degree of qualification to enter into the profession they are abide with the professional norms values standards <coughs> and the norms values standard are the part of ethics so in this topic i discuss you what are the ethical considerations for the teachers so let's see the ethics ethics are related to the rule governed systems in a simple language by ethics we mean the moral moral conducts moral conducts of a teacher by ethics we means the rules especially professional rules maintaining rules and leg regulation ethics are related to legacy following the legacy of instruction following the legacy of profession legacy of the rules <coughs> then it is the we say the rule of law by ethics we mean rule of law each behavior of human being is guided or is influenced by certain rules by certain ethics so yeah ethics are related to professional code of conduct in other words we can say code of conduct shikshak aachar samhita bhanne hami harle suneko hunu parcha you you are quite familiar i guess you are quite familiar with the code of conduct of a teacher i mean certain regulations for the teacher in order to maintain a professional strength in order to maintain professional standard so these rules are related to i mean ethics are related to ethics are the part of ethics are the part of part of professional stand professional <coughs> stand they are related to the part of professional stand code of conduct code of conduct or they are related to moral these are related to moral imperatives to the teachers moral imperatives to the teachers teaching is a highly reputed job it is a prestigious job in order to maintain the standard maintain the prestige maintain the high social recognition of the teacher this should be guided by this should follow certain housekeeping rules housekeeping rules means your classroom rules professional rules i use the term housekeeping rule housekeeping housekeeping rules to refer to i use the term housekeeping rules to refer to the professional ethics of a teacher in other words you can say they are the professional maxims we can say professional maxims maxims are teachers maxim or you can say teachers maxims maxims of planning maxims of punctuality maxims of practicality 
maximum of instruction maximum of assessment maximum of interaction like this so in a sense by professional ethics we come to know the maxims we come to know uh, the principles to be followed principle to be applied in teaching learning behaviors these are in other words professional ethics mean these are the teachers specific or teachers ideal identities okay we can say them as teachers ideal identity teachers ideal imagined ideal presupposed ideal identities do you agree this teachers ideal identities are the ethics teachers they want to present themselves is distinct from others it is because of knowledge because of expertise because of profession and more importantly because of the professional standard because of the professional ethics am i right so you understand them as standards and moral conducts here yeah, i mean to say teachers need to obey and maintain some code of conduct teachers need to obey follow and maintain obey and maintain some teaching conducts away and maintain teaching conducts teaching conducts rules standard that is called professional ethics so codes of conduct we say achar samita shikshan ka niyam biniyam haru shikshak sang sambandhit peshagat acharan ka kura haru in other words we say they are the professional behavior they are the part of professional regulation and teaching is more sensitively watched uh, because of its social value because of its pedagogical asset because of the moral identities given to the teacher teaching is more sensitively watched teachers are taken as the icons of the society if they commit any kind of misbehavior if they uh, are involved in several malpractices then what happens there will be a big question in front of the teacher is it a suitable activity to you are you following the norms are you guided by the norms values and standard of your profession is it is it that is it what supposed from you like this so we often face this kind of you know we often here we often experience this kind of questions against the teacher why because of breaching the rules because of violating the norms because of their inability to maintain professional ethics in this sense if teachers are professionally sound if they are quite sociable professionally sound sociable punctual in their profession competent competent and they you know and they become ideal then the recognition of teaching as a profession will be heightened that's why i mean to say our uh, teachers are expected to be ideal in the society because of the sensitivity of the profession because of social and you know moral norms which are expected in this profession so it is social and more expected profession since teaching is social and more expected profession teachers should abide with the rules teachers should follow the norms teachers should maintain the ethics or the standard of the profession let let me talk what are those ethics then teachers okay sense teaching sense sense teaching is a highly reputed highly reputed 
and sensitive profession sensitive i mean more prestigious sensitive profession profession teachers should teachers should away teachers should away certain certain professional ethics certain professional ethics ethics then following okay let me discuss following the ethics following the ethics properly i mean truly following the ethics truly truly means truly means the attempts truly means the attempts for maintaining you know attempts for maintaining professional standard professional ethics okay professional ethics some of them some important some of them are you can list a number of ethics here is a part of professional ethics some of the ethics teachers should follow the rules follow the you know the principles of the profession as well is the respected institution each institution can have its rule governed system rules may be different from institution to institution however i am not going to discuss institution specific but i am discussing the rules in general ethics in general which have a big implication in the profession as a whole okay some of them are teacher must follow the rules follow the laws follow follow the laws of profession laws of profession they must follow the rules a uh, law of profession and the institution where they are involved in the institutions i mean they must be abide with the professional ethics as well as the institutionalized core core of conduct they should be bound by national and international be bound they must be be bound okay they must be bound by national and international international code of conduct code of conduct national and international legacy of teaching they have to maintain the ethics they have to maintain the standard they should properly follow the specified curriculum and the syllabus they must be guided they must be guided by the specified keta specified syllabus syllabus and you know curriculum they have to follow they should uh, try to apply all those aims goals principles uh, or the thing is presupposed ideals as specified in the curriculum and syllabus teaching in a true sense is providing <coughs> service so one of the professional ethics is they should provide service okay they should provide service what sort of service to cultivate the education to cultivate the moral endeavors to cultivate academic uh, aspects to cultivate uh, the teaching learning skills on the students in a sense teachers are service provider so they should understand and follow the spirit of service since it is a service oriented profession they must have to make reasonable efforts to nurture the students okay they must have to make reasonable make reasonable efforts efforts to nurture i mean support to nurture the students nurture students with 
skills attitude uh, knowledge strategies task like these similarly some more others are related to they should disclose the confidential information teacher should maintain the confidential information should not disclose everything else but they have to away what to say and what not to say certain things are quite they can be the private affairs of the teachers certain things are the political affairs certain things may be related to the affairs of uh, you know the classroom affairs of uh, beyond classroom like this so they should keep confidentiality in certain issues and they must be public in certain aspect too as is specified in the uh, in the code of conduct uh, of an institution or of the profession like this they should take disciplinary action teachers should take disciplinary disciplinary action niyam anushasan ma bandinu paryo garna bhaneko kura haru garnu paryo garna banchit gariyeka kura haru huncha certain restrictions can be found and they should follow the restrictions for the sake of dignity of the profession they have to provide good good atmosphere a conducive atmosphere to learning okay they should provide conducive provide conducive environment sorry atmosphere conducive atmosphere conducive atmosphere for learning to the students okay the create appropriate apt environment inside the classroom they should not use professional relationship to private advantage another ethics is should not use should not use or utilize professional professional relationship relationship for okay relationship for private advantage for their personal advantage that is called you know private advantage okay relationship for private advantage similarly teachers uh, they shall delegate the authority to the authors is specified in the rules for the teachers or professional ethics they should uh, they shall delegate the authority they should not deliberately uh, sup suppress or distort the subject matter they have no right to deliberately distort the subject matter suppress the subject matter they should not falsify or misinterpret the record okay should not misinterpret misinterpret the records it is another professional ethics they should not deliberately distort the subject matter as specified in the curriculum and syllabus they should not uh, make any kind of false or malicious statement should not they should not make any malicious statement regarding teaching and learning practices teacher must be updated with the innovation so you can say another one is you can say be updated be updated with the innovations made in the field they are not allowed to plagiarize i mean taking others ideas considering the self ideas i mean without giving credit to the original writer no one has to fully utilize them thinking as if they are their own that is the case of the uh, not to plagiarize another one is not to plagiarize yes should not plagiarize others ideas without giving credit 
they have to accept the contract accept the contract proposed by the institution proposed by institutional authority or the proposed from the side of stakeholders they should work for the welfare of the institution work for the work for the welfare you know kalyan bhanchu ami welfare of the institution institution welfare of the society and welfare of the nation okay institution society and the welfare of the nation even the welfare of the individual students because our job is to support them teacher should take the responsibility provided to them be responsible take responsibility be responsible you know be punctual be responsible be punctual be accountable be accountable be aware be aware okay be responsible be punctual be accountable be aware be dutiful be sensitive dutiful sensitive comma etc you can explain in a number of way similarly they should not falsify or fabricate they should not falsify or fabricate the ideas tod mod garne tes like apabhyakhya garne telai aphno private faida ko lagi advantage ko lagi upayog garne sanstha ko maryada mathi aach puraune karya garnu hudaina teacher should be aware on the professional norms and values so that he or she has no right to harm he or she has no right to create harm for the institution teachers need to conduct research okay they need to conduct research investigation follow the culture of inquiry they should collaborate with others they have to strive more for the betterment of the institution betterment of the students betterment of the nations like this teachers are expected to be professional right professional teachers are expected they are expected to be socially expected to be socially acceptable socially acceptable isn't it personally sound personally sound and professionally or pedagogically competent and pedagogically competent pedagogically competent to be the professional in it to be the professional to be the professional in a true sense isn't it do you agree this or not professional teachers are expected to be socially acceptable personally competent personally sound and pedagogically competent competent in subject matter competent in methodology competent in strategies and activities quite sound sociable humble amiable in terms of personal relationship and socially accepted socially approved socially acknowledged they should avoid any kind of biasness with anyone should avoid should avoid any sort of biasness any sort of biasness biasness towards anyone else biasness towards anyone no bias no biasness towards the student no biasness towards the fellow teachers no biasness towards the society no biasness towards the personal uh, you know uh, sorry towards the you no know, biasness towards the race gender caste ethnicity class of the people some rules or some ethics may be 
uh, institution specific they should understand it first and they should transmit they should understand and transmit those uh, professional ethics in their everyday practices so someone is good or let's see bad someone is competent or less competent someone is sound or uh, let's see average is determined by means of his or her professional ethics so it is important to maintain professional ethics to grow in the profession to sustain in the profession and to enjoy the profession if teachers truly follow those ethics then i i guess they will really enjoy their profession they will be more sustainable in their profession so ethics is related to the aspect of sustainability kati pe avastha ma shikshak le aphno maryada gumaunda kheri maryada ra dhairyata gumaunda kheri jagire gumaunu pareko avastha cha ra singo euta shikshak ko matre haina ki singo pesa ko badnami huna pareko cha to pesa gat badnami bata rokna ko lagi in order to you know promote the strand of teaching maintain the legacy of teaching and promote the recognition of teaching profession itself teachers should follow these professional ethics so you understand professional ethics are the maxims they are teaching maxims behavioral maxims teaching maxim behavioral axiom they have social implication individual implication as well as the pedagogical implication teachers are highly expected to be socially acceptable socially adjustable personally sound and pedagogically competent aakha ma rakhe pani nabijaune jasto manche hunu parcha ta yesto hunu parcha bhanchau ni hamro presupposed identity so teachers they you know they need to so they need to display others the presupposed identity of the teacher because teachers teachers have a public image society has a sort of public image of the teacher to kisim ko public image identity ho to public image la maintain garne bhane kasle the teacher themselves okay teachers themselves should maintain their professional ethics they should maintain their identity they look for the new and new identities like teacher is a researcher teacher is a social activist teacher is an accountable teacher is a model role model teachers must be <coughs> they must be okay they must be role model they must be the role model of the the society yadi hamile yo rule haru aachar samhita haru follow up garna sakyo bhane ultimately we will be the role model of the society that's why others will learn from us because teacher has a big responsibility a big responsibility is there in the souls of the teacher thousands of students will follow thousands of students will imitate thousands of influence students will be influenced from the teacher because teacher has to deal with the students for a long okay in this way i have discussed you the value of professional ethics as well as the ways to maintain professional ethics all right uh, thank you so much